Hello? We're going to do proportions with variables. Same old proportions. Two fractions set equal with the equal sign. But now we have variables in two of the places. Doesn't matter where they go, but we still have two. And we still have our rule. We have a portion. These two multiply, A and B, and B and C, and they'll be the same thing. 1 times x plus 7 equals 2 times x. We'll solve for x. 2 times x is 2x. 1 times x plus 7. Do a little distribution. Times 1 is easy. 2x equals x plus 7. 1 times x is x, 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract off the smaller one. 2x minus x is x. Bit of canceling. x equals 7. We've solved out for x. Double check by putting it back in. 1 half equals 7 over 14. And that looks about right to me. 7 divided by 14 is 1 half. Try the second. These two multiplied. These two multiplied. Should give us the same result. 10 times x is 10x. 2x plus 1 times 6. I'm going to write the 6 on the left so it looks like our usual distribution. Six times two x, six times one. Six times two x is twelve x. Six times one is six. Now usually we subtract the smaller variable, but as it's all by itself, we'll subtract the larger one. So we have an x on one side and a number on the other. Minus twelve x. Both sides. Ten x minus twelve x. Give us negative 2x. 12x is cancel. Give us just 6. Divide both sides by negative 2. Cancel. x equals negative 3. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. Positive divided by a negative is a negative. Plug it back in. Negative 3 on top, 6 on the bottom, 2 times negative 3, and negative 6, plus 1, negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5, 10 is still 10, double check it, 10 times negative 3 is negative 30, 6 times negative 5 is also negative 30. Proportions with multiple variables still use the same rule. We multiply, multiply, and set the two equal. Solve out for x, double check. Solve out for x, double check. You can still use cross multiplication to check your answer. Negative 30 equals negative 30.